Good afternoon, good morning, good evening from whatever time you're tuning in today. Uh, my name is Fiona and this is your 30 minute strength and tone class. Today we don't need any equipment, but what I do ask you to do is make sure that you've got a space. It's big enough for you to move front, sideways, behind, so you won't bash into anything. I do understand that many of you may be at home in your dorm rooms. You may have things around you, so just make sure there's nothing that you could trip up on. We don't need a lot of space. Good news is today we don't need any equipment. It's all full body weight. Um, so let's get started. Make sure that you've cleared a space and you've got water near you. I'm just going to do a couple of shoulder rolls back here. Just get that body warmed up. And then forward. And back. And forward. I'm just going to put like a little bend in the knees here. We kind of don't want to lock out the knees at all when we're working out. We kind of want to keep everything moving. Fluid. And take your right arm and just like bring it behind you. Palm faces away from you. Get that really nice arm stretch. I always say every single week, especially if you've been at a computer, sometimes you need to just kind of like release any tension in the neck and the shoulders. You've been hunched over in the library like I have. And just bring your arms wide from you. You're just gonna squat down. You're gonna bring your arms up overhead and stand up. Bring your arms down, squat down, arms overhead and rise up. That's it. Just to get our bodies moving. Nice. Bring your right leg up and bring your ankle round one way and then switch ways for me. And the other knee. Look around one way and the other way. And take your hands to your hips, bend your standing leg. I'm just going to swing the other leg back and forth. See if you can keep your balance. Just get that booty and those hamstrings nice and warmed up. And to the other side for me. And we're going to do my favorite stretch of all time. Standing here, you guys can watch me first time around. We're going to do a full three. Four if you guys want to follow me, if you know what we're doing. So we're going to come down to the floor, walk out to plank, come to downward dog, out to plank, and then walk it back. We've got our own pace. Just give me three more guys. Walk down, out to plank, down to dog, back to plank, and walk it back up. And give me two more here. We roll down. This is really stretching out our whole body. It's also getting us super warmed up for what we're about to do. And it kind of sends all of our neurons in our brains. And give me one more, guys. These activity signals that we are here, we're breathing, and we're about to move our bodies for a full 30 minutes. That's all you guys kind of need. So shake it out for me, grab some water, Set yourself up with some space. I'm gonna go through our first exercise. So today we are gonna do three rounds. Each round is gonna contain two exercises and we hold those exercises for a minute each and we repeat each round two times. Don't worry if you didn't get that fully. I'll explain as we go through. So our first round on our right leg, we bring our right leg back, we lunge to the floor and we bring our knee up. So that's back and up. If you guys want to get fancy, you guys can hop up and bring it down as an extra cardio push. However, after we've done that, we're going to have a minute of half star jacks just to get our cardio level raised for the first beginning of class. So we get our heart rate going for the rest of the class. So once we've done our first leg set, we move on to our second, but not last leg. Core. Cool. All right, guys, I've got a minute on my watch, so I'm gonna keep the timer for you. Let's get ready to go in 15 seconds. Give me a thumbs up, boop, boop, boop. Awesome, guys. In 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Come join me here, guys. Right leg back and up. So in order to get that right leg up, to cry your chest, you guys want to pull in those ab muscles here. So from the side, you're holding yourself straight up. So you go down super low, bring that right leg up. You can use opposite arm, opposite leg to get that right knee fully almost to your chest. Guys, we're halfway through here. Remember, 
If you want to jump it up for that extra amount of cardio, by all means, be my yes. Let's go into this week feeling good, feeling strong. Keep it up, guys. Really bring that knee in. Don't cheat yourself. Get that leg low. Get that leg low down to the ground. Get the 15 seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's go up to star jacks here. Half, so we're not going full. We're just doing half. Really keeping that tension in our elbows and our shoulders. If for whatever reason this is too much, the jumping up and down, you can step out. If you have neighbors downstairs, they might not appreciate these nice big jumps. So you can tap it out. Just keep that moving so your heart rate is escalated. All right, guys, we're halfway through here. You got it. Feel that energy. Remember those soft knees I was talking about earlier? This is where you want to use them. This is where you want to keep all of your joints soft. Don't lock anything out. It can cause friction with your muscles here. All right, you guys have 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. All right, take a 15 second break, guys. We're going to go back to our lunges on our left leg. And then this is our first round. Done. Easy as that, right? Okay, let's go in five, four, three, two, one. Left leg comes back to a lunge and up, down. Make this movement super purposeful. Again, if you feel like you've got more cardio in you guys, bring that leg up. That's it. We're doing a full body. Keep going, guys. We're doing a full body today. So we do lower part. We're going to do some arm workouts. We're also going to do some ab workouts on the floor. So give it everything you've got. Our muscles are never going to be fatigued for long. So you guys have time to really get into that part of your body and push it to the limit. Keep going. You guys have 15 seconds here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's jack it out together, guys. That's it. Acknowledge yourself for taking time to move. That is all you can ask yourself to do right now in this crazy time we're living in. Just keep moving, one foot in front of the other. These exercises are only a minute which means, you know what? They're going to be over. I am not gonna make you jack. I'm not gonna make you hold a plank for any more than a minute today. So commit to that minute. Guys, keep going. You're over halfway through now. 30 seconds down. Let's keep it going. You got it. And right now, as you can hear, there's no tunes on my playing with me here today, however, I did make a playlist for this workout, which is on Spotify. If you want to follow me on Spotify, it's FK Thompson one You guys can play that music. You can also play your own music. And you finish in three, two, one. Awesome job, guys. You feeling good? We're feeling energized. We're feeling ready for the day. All right, grab some water. Take a moment. I'm going to catch my breath. <laughs> Hopefully you guys are as out of breath as I am, and then I'm gonna go through our next round for you all, okay? So, I'm gonna to come to the side just to show you, but you can do this facing me or facing the side either way you want. I want you to bend your legs, just to scoot your hips back slightly, and our chest is up. We're gonna bring our arms down. We're gonna bring our arms out to the side. Now, if I turn this way, they're not up here, they're right in line with my shoulders. So I wanna keep this, this stance, so legs bend, Booty back, arms come out, and we pulse up the top for three. So it's going to be one, two, three, and down. One, two, three, and down. So we're not using any weights today, guys. So what I want you to do is really keep that tension in the arms and really push like you're almost like going through water. So instead of like, I don't want your arms to, they just come down like noodles. It's one, two, three, push down against gravity. One, two, 
three, push down against gravity. So we're gonna do that for a full minute. Then we're gonna come to a wide leg stance. We're gonna squat down, chest is up, and then we push up. If you wanna go a step further, you squat down, you rise onto your tiptoes for an extra balance. I want your arms again to feel that tension and rise above your head, okay? All right, you feel rested? Let's go in 10 seconds, guys. Let's go to our flies. In three, two, one, and one, two, three, and down. That's it. So the whole time you're in this stance, you are pulling in those ab muscles to keep yourself not right. You don't want to round like this, and you don't want to push your butt out like this. It's all about the core coming in and keeping a really nice flat and neutral spine. If you kind of don't get that and it feels uncomfortable, you can just come to stand straight up, bend your knees, and just bring your arms down slightly here. You're getting a little bit of a different workout, but you're still working out, and that's what we need, right? Have fun and keep moving. And down, one, two, three. Now I know it can seem difficult without weights, but if you keep the right tension in your body, you're still getting the same workout as you would with two pound weights or three pound weights with you. In fact, it might be a little better because you're actually getting a really good form. Your arms aren't feeling so fatigued. All right, in three, two, one, we go down, two, squat, push up. That's it, really reach for whatever it is you want at the top, push up. So here again, we're used to having weights. So I want you guys to really work on feeling that tension and that form. So when you do go back to using weights, you guys know exactly how it needs to feel. Sometimes when we add that extra weight that we're not ready for yet, we can really lose this amazing form that we're keeping back with legs back, arms up. That's it. Knees are out wide. So really enjoy the fact that today you don't have any weights. Really work on that form. All right, guys, we've got 15 seconds here. Keep going. Nice. In three, two, and one. Shake it out. You guys have 15 seconds. Grab some sip of water. We're going to do our second round. Is everyone feeling good? I'm pretending I'm seeing you guys out there. Give me guys all that good energy. That's what we want. All right, so let's get ready into our stance. So flies in three, two, one, let's go. And one, two, three, down. That's it. I promise I'll stop talking. I know I talk to you guys all the way through these 30 minute segments, but I just wish I was there with y'all. That's it. Three and down. Keep it going, guys. You're almost halfway through here. 30 more seconds. One, two, three. Check in with that form. Is your pelvis tucked under? Are you rounding? Are you keeping everything open and strong? Open and strong is the way forward here, guys. You've got 15 seconds here. We're going to go straight to our squat overhead press. 10 seconds. Eight. Six, four, three, two, one. Let's go down and up. Down and up. That's it. Nice, guys. Push down and up. Keep it going. Last round here. Then you get to go to the floor. Hooray. Keep going. Almost halfway through. Are your knees pushing out? Is your chest up? Are your arms solid? Keep going guys, 20 seconds here. Keep going. In 10, eight, six, four, three, two, one, all right, take your rest there, guys. Shake it out. Do I still have everyone with me out there? Awesome job, guys. So grab a sip of water for me, and we're gonna come to the floor. So while you guys are resting, let me just show you what we're gonna do. So 
We are onto our ab round. Woohoo! I hear you all say. Do you guys still see me? Okay, cool. So we're gonna come to lay on the ground and our feet are flat on the floor. And really pull that stomach muscle into the ground. So you wanna feel, let me scooch back a bit so you guys can see me better. You really wanna feel that ground and that pelvic floor come towards you. So arms come up overhead. Now either you guys can stay here and we're gonna do opposite toe taps. So right foot, hand comes up and touches left foot and you bring it down, up and down. If you guys want an extra challenge, lay your legs out flat and you can just reach like this to your opposite foot and your legs are gonna come all the way down. What I want you guys to see is that controlled leg come down. Don't just like let it flop, right? Again, it's all under tension. That's what we're using for our stomach muscles. Then at the second minute, we don't go very far. We do put our heels down if they aren't down already. And we're just gonna do hip bridges up to the ceiling for a minute. Arms are relaxed. We go up and down using all of our glutes and our hamstring muscles that we've already worked today. Just to give that a little extra push. Cool? All right, you guys ready? Let's go in 15 seconds. You guys with me? A little bit of a hearing. All right, let's go in three, two, one, toe taps, right to left and down, left to right. And you're really twisting into that side, guys. Really getting those obliques warmed up. Everyone talks about that little like, that V count or whatever it is. Everyone is so highly after. This is gonna help with all those little muscles right in your lower ab, guys. Keep going. Keep it all going on. All right, over halfway through here. 30 seconds left. You got it. I'm sure you guys look amazing. I can't see you. I won't blind pretend I can, but I know you guys are doing a killer job. Keep it going. Gonna go to those hip bridges in 20 seconds. Arm to leg. Give me 15 seconds here, guys. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Feet on the floor, hips come up and down. And up and down, that's it. If you guys feel fancy, I always say you can go a step further. If you wanna raise a leg off the floor, so you're just using that one leg strength to push yourself up. By all means, be my guest. Just make sure whatever you do on one side, next round you do it on the other side as well. Nice guys, keep going. Up and down. And when you're going up into the bridge, I really want you guys to focus on those ab muscles. Really pull them in tight. Really focus on the stability of your body. That's what's gonna really make those abs strong so you can do things like hold a plank, which we may or may not do at the end of this. I'm not saying we will, I'm not saying we won't. Just get ready. All right, guys, you've got five, four, three, two, one, and relax for me. Guys, take a 15 second break. We're gonna go back to those toe taps. Get ready. Whatever it is, if you need to bend your knees, if you need to keep your legs long, let's go. In four, three, two, one. Reach for that other leg and down. And reach and down. That's it. Really pull that leg up using nothing but the strength of your abs. You are in control of how your body moves. Up and down, and up and down. You got it. And down and up. Keep going, guys. 20 more seconds here. Up and down. Up and down. Keep it going. Guys, have 15 seconds. We're going to go straight into those hip bridges for the last minute. And down. Keep it going. You got it. In four, three, two, one. Come down, hip bridges, raise up and down. You guys got it. Up 
and down. Nice. And up and down. Getting ready for that core stability work. Up and down. Remember, if you took one leg on one side, make sure you keep it even on both sides. And if you are, really push that foot into the ceiling. So you've got these two opposing forces. You've got down and you've got the pull up. Whatever that may feel like to you, just make sure it's super grounded. That's it. Really push that, those hips straight up to the ceiling. Getting a full back workout here. All right, guys, you have five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, relax for me for a second. So as I may or may not have promised, we are doing a very, very quick plank series to end out our class today, which is unbelievable that we've got through almost 30 minutes already. So every 30 seconds, I'm gonna ask you guys to hold a plank for 30 seconds, and we're gonna come off for 15 seconds. 30 seconds is not that long. When you guys feel like giving up in that 30 second plank, remember it will be over in literally seconds. Take that 15 second rest, indulge in that 15 second rest, Come straight back up and hold that plank. We're gonna do this four times, okay? Hold a plank for 30 seconds, off for 15. Four rounds to finish off our workout today. You guys can come up to a full plank if you want to, if you feel good there for 30 seconds, or you guys can come to a forearm plank. I'm gonna hold the forearm plank here. I might change it up halfway through, so it is totally up to you guys. But whatever it is, in 15 seconds, decide. We're gonna come over to that plank, I'm gonna keep a timing here, okay? Let's come up in 15 seconds. Get ready. Don't worry, I'm watching my watch carefully. I don't wanna hold this plank any more than you guys do. We're gonna hold for 30 seconds in three, two, one, let's go. Pulling those ab muscles. Neck is nice and long in front of you. Look where you wanna go. If you look down, you'll go down. If you look straight ahead, you will be able to hold this. And if you get those ab shakes, it is A-OK. -okay. Again, indulge in it. You're only halfway through of holding this. You have 10 more seconds of holding this, guys. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. It needs to come down really quick. It's only a 15 second break. We're gonna go back up in 15 seconds. Gonna hold it for another 30 seconds, guys. In four, three, two, one. Hold that plank for me again. Again, 30 seconds goes by as fast, right? Close your eyes, go to your favorite vacation spot. If you're in your forearms, spread those fingers on the ground. Do not look down, look straight out in front of you. Keep that neck nice and long. Oh, I nearly put my knee down there. 10 seconds, guys. In eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Indulge in that 30 seconds. Your heart should be racing, it is A-OK. -okay. You're not going anywhere, you are here with me. And we got this. All right, let's go back again. In five, four, three, two, one. Let's hold it, I'm gonna come up here this time. Oh, this is harder this time around. You got this, guys. Spread those fingers into the floor. Push away. Hugging those ab muscles. And every time you want to quit, just realize you have literally seconds left in this. Seconds left. Yeah, 10 more seconds here, guys. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come down and rest for 15 seconds. You got it. Last one. Are you going to come up to your arms? Are you going to come onto your forearms? Remember, this is your last time doing this. If you haven't got a full of through 30 seconds yet, it is okay. We all have to build up to that point. But I want you guys to try your hardest. Last 30 second push. Let's go in three, two, one. Hold that point for me, guys. Really tense up all of those leg muscles. Your legs are holding you guys up too, everything. Don't let that back dip to the floor. 
Keep it in. You guys got this. In 15 more seconds, you are done with your workout today. Let's come in. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Nice job, guys. Give yourself a round of applause. Really, really awesome. I'm just sitting on your knees for me. I'm just going to come out into child's pose. Bring your arms out in front of you. Head comes to the floor. Take a deep breath in and out. Acknowledge all the amazing things you've done today. How you really showed up and committed 30 minutes of your time. And then come to your hands and knees. Just do a couple of cat cows for me. Then I look up. And just dip the pelvis forward. And then around the back and bring that head around. That was a epic way to finish off. Short, consistent. You know what? If you can't hold a plank for two minutes, it's okay. Who really can? Can you hold one for 15 seconds, 10 seconds? And you're just going to build up on that each time. Bring your right out in front of you. I'm just going to stretch out our forearm here. And draw up our plank forearms for a while. It's all about small, consistent movements. So I always say, don't cram. Don't cram for a test. Don't cram that essay into four hours before it's due. Small, steady, often. It's the same as working out, guys. Come to your hands and knees for me, and then just go back into downward dog like we were at the beginning. Just pedal out your feet for me. Right, left, that's it. And then walk your feet to your hands. Come to face forward. Grab onto that right leg. We're just going to stretch out our quads. Get this really nice stretch here for you. Just breathe in, just breathe out. You guys got it. And check that out for me, other leg. Breathe in, and then just breathe out. Really nice job, guys. Awesome job. Give me a couple shoulder rolls back, same way as we started, and shoulder rolls forward. I like to finish on a consistent note. <laughs> And then come out and just step really wide for me, however wide you want to. All I want you guys to do is breathe right in, take a big breath, stretch to the top. Now, whatever thing you're holding on to right now that's stopping you from being your best self, let it go. Just shake it out, let go of it. And then think about what you've done in the last 30 minutes and be super proud of yourselves. And then we're going to take another breath in. And I want you guys to take that energy, all of that proud energy, how you showed up, how you're still pressing play and you didn't walk away. Bring all that energy into your chest and give yourself a huge round of applause, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Again, my name is Fiona. I teach on the Armstrong campus at Georgia Southern. If you guys have any questions about group fitness classes, please let me know. We have so many cool things going on right now this semester at the ARC. We are all wearing masks, so we do have to social distance and be aware of that. But if you guys have any questions about Zumba classes, yoga classes, strength classes, anyone at the group fitness room or anyone at the front desk of the Arc of Georgia Southern is more than happy to help you guys. Again, thank you so much for being here and I hope you have a beautiful week and I hope you crush all the exams and all of the essays that you need to write. Have a good one guys. Bye-bye.